Hey guys, so I think this video needs a bit of context before we continue, so here's the story. I created a video course about putting a hole in your hand. I know it's gross, but you know what? There's a video course about it now because I made it, and I thought it'd be a good idea to release the introduction video, so the first video in that series as a public thing on YouTube, uh, so people can get a vibe about whether or not they want the course, they can see maybe what I'm like when I'm talking over there. So yeah, th that is what you're about to see. This is the introduction, the first video for that course. Welcome everybody to the video course. Before we start, I just want to give a bit of an introduction and a warm, warm welcome. Uh, regardless of whether you came from Gumroad or Patreon or I don't know where you came from, thank you for purchasing this course. I hope you find way more than the cost of it in value. I hope I teach you just too much. I hope you leave this thing being like, oh yeah, you should have charged $1,000 really. Um, assuming you bought the right thing, uh, we, we, you should know that we're making holes in hands in Blender. So let, let me show you what's up. Um, this I recorded after recording the course, so I'm just kind of like fresh off of this. But uh, there is an interesting detail I want to talk about. So originally the idea, originally the idea is I was going to show you how to make this, right? And there's quite a bit going on here, right? <laughs> um, I made this 3D model. There's some shading. Somehow I recovered the information behind the hand in video form of video clean plate and put it into foreground. Uh, there's tracking. There's compositing. There's pretty much most of the workspaces in Blender are used here, including UV unwrapping and everything. Originally, I was going to make this. But then on video 10 of the course, I'm like, wait a second. Let's make this as gross as possible. So this is what we, <laughs> this is what we're going to end up with. This is what the course teaches you how to make. However, the very first product that I showed you where it's kind of like a, a smooth hole instead of this thing, uh, you literally just kind of skip video 10 kind of, and then you have that result. So this is just kind of like a bonus um, effect that you can get. Uh, if you watch part 10, I didn't expect to make it this gross, but I'm like, let's make it look like a very disgusting wound. So... I don't know if you expected this when you bought the course, but you're getting extra value, uh, quite frankly. So we're going to go over the whole workflow. In, in the download, you should, of course, have all the videos. This video, the introduction, uh, with, I think, 11 videos in order. I separated them by section, um, kind of like by task, really, and I tried to keep it as concise yet as explanatory as possible. And a lot of parts, I really assume you've never touched that workspace. I assume you've never done motion tracking. You've never done this or that. So in the more complicated parts, I get really, really slow and detailed. So hopefully you can speed through it if you already know what's up. But that that's the idea there. Uh, here's the blend file. Kind of like the, there, there are a couple of blend files before getting to this point. But some stuff you're obviously going to uh, be learning here is uh, tracking right, of the hand. This is a 3D solve. We're also going to track the background for reasons that you will understand later. Inverse stabilization is the buzzword for that one. Uh, we're going to be doing some, uh, you know, general 3D modeling. This is what it looks like without any compositing, right? You just have the raw situation here. This is what it looks like. Most of this is procedural and shading and in um, geometry, right? So this, this is just... Um, displacements and all this. So really, you you could control almost everything about this. In fact, you could literally just take this hole and just shift it down and it will still work. So th th this is a cool thing. You're also going to learn about shading and you're actually going to learn quite a bit about shading. That's one of the biggest parts. A lot about compositing and additionally, assuming I still have this unwrap, you're going to learn a very useful unwrap trick about how to get this uh, object to have a perfectly uh, torus-like uh, UV unwrap, which you might be thinking, okay, fine. I don't know how to do that, but why is it useful? You're going to find out why it's useful. It is extremely useful. Without this trick, this uh, effect is actually fairly hard to make. So you're going to learn how to do this unwrap, how to... Basically, we're going to take you through Blender, and I hope you enjoy the final product. I think it's a super cool effect. Super gross. Hopefully this thing doesn't like get banned off YouTube, you know, if I just put the uh, preview of the course. But um, there you go. That's the introduction. Hopefully I got you properly excited. I recommend watching it through uh, without skipping videos because even if you know the topic, maybe I'm like, make sure you put the setting like this because 10 videos from now, it's going to be relevant. So it's up to you, right? Um Video, of course, is included in the project file, so you can follow along with my hand, or you could record footage of your own hand. Notice that the original footage is markerless. 
which is a challenge. Normally you put Sharpie dots. I'm like, screw that. We're doing it the hard way. And quite frankly, you learn quite a bit more doing it like this. This is kind of like the harder scenario. Yes, um, that is the introduction. After this video, you will be clicking on to the, to the real stuff, the 11 videos separated by section. I hope you enjoy. I hope you get your value. And for the people watching this on YouTube, because I think I'm going to provide this introduction as a free thing to entice people to you know get the course if this is something they're interested in, um, check it out. There's links in the description. Uh, for you people who already bought the course, just ignore that. But um Yes, uh, let's get my, my face on the full screen. I hope you enjoy everything in here, and I've been CG Matter, you've been you. Bye-bye.